Good morning and thank you for joining me on this chilly May day. I'm Jane here with the good news for Wednesday, May the 3rd. And this good news comes from the Bible, of course, but today it also comes from the natural world, God's first book. Over the centuries, many theologians have talked about how God is revealed not only through the words of scripture, but also through this book of nature. In his letter to the Romans, St. Paul says, ever since the creation of the world, God's eternal power and divine nature, invisible though they are, have been understood and seen through the things he has made. But let's begin with the written word though, this time from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter two, verses five to seven. Paul writes, For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, and I rejoice to see your morale and the firmness of your faith in Christ. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Paul recognized the firm faith of these members of his church in Colossae and encouraged them to continue to live their lives in Christ, rooted and built up in him. Well, that word rooted immediately conjures up for me the image of a tree anchored strongly to the soil through its roots and built up with the water and the nutrients that the roots absorb. We have some old birches in front of our house and their big roots run close to the surface. I like to feel them underfoot when I walk on the lawn. For me, they're a metaphor for strength and support. But recently, my eyes have been opened to a new appreciation of roots. And this is where nature comes into the story. The book club I belong to just finished reading Finding the Mother Tree, a memoir by Suzanne Simard. Simard is a Canadian professor at UBC and a researcher in forestry. Over the past decades, her work has uncovered fascinating information about how trees are connected to one another underground through networks of fungal threads that colonize their roots. Through these networks, older trees can share sugars to nourish younger ones. And even trees of different species that previously were thought to be competitors for sunlight or soil nutrients have been shown to act cooperatively instead. Simard's research is helping to change forestry pra practice, and it paints a picture of a healthy forest as a community of diverse organisms interconnected for mutual support. So now when I read Paul's words, rooted and built up in Christ and established in the faith, I don't picture individual Christians each attached to Christ through their faith, but rather I imagine a community of Christians, yes, each rooted in Christ, but through Christ connected to each other as well. And that's a much, rich, a much richer image. And it fits with something that Paul wrote a little earlier in this same letter. He said, Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him, all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Like a healthy forest, a healthy Christian community can be diverse, yet sharing together in both giving and receiving support. And the good news is that here we are invited to be that kind of community, 
each anchored in Christ, the very ground of our being, but connected to each other and to our neighbors near and far as one community of love through Christ in whom all things hold together. Let us pray. Gracious God, help us to see your hand in the amazing natural world you created. Give insight to scientists and researchers who discover ways to preserve the balance of flourishing ecosystems. Help us to grow deep roots of faith in you and profound connections with others so that we too may work for the good of all creation. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, two weeks ago, I mentioned that it was snowing as I recorded the good news video. And believe it or not, there have been a few little white flakes as I, as I record this one. So I'm going to stop now and light the wood stove and try to warm up. And I wish you all warmer days as the week progresses. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.